I'm Karen Dolan and I work here at the Institute for Policy Studies. And in October 2002, the Institute for Policy Studies and many other organizations, progressive organizations from around the country, came to meet and came together in Washington, D.C. to discuss strategy for preventing the uh, invasion and occupation of Iraq, which eventually happened in 2003 in March. And the Institute for Policy Studies contribution to that was an effort called Cities for Peace. And Cities for Peace was a collaborative uh, effort organized out of IPS, but included Code Pink, it included National Priorities Project, American Friends Service Community, many organizations and local organizations around the country. And this was an effort at the local level, this was participatory democracy at its best, where people in their communities, in their places of worship, in their town halls, uh, talking to their council people, talking to their representatives, their mayors, and in some cases state houses and, and, uh, and state government levels were able to express their opposition to invading and occupying Iraq. And through this movement, over the course of several months, we were able to get over 330 resolutions and or statements around the country representing over half of all Americans expressing their opposition to invading and occupying Iraq. They highlighted the enormous cost both to, uh, to people in Iraq, people here, uh, you know, globally to uh, the environment, uh, to our city budgets, uh, to our federal budget. Uh, of such an action and we're able to talk about how that money could better be invested in our own communities uh, with affordable housing, with scholarships, with health care, with infrastructure. So it's a very strong sentiment. We weren't able to stop the invasion of Iraq but we were able to popularize and publicize this national overwhelming opposition to this invasion and what it would mean and what it eventually did mean. And that set up for 2008 this countrywide rejection of George Bush's perpetual war and brought in President Obama who at least campaigned on stopping the war in Iraq and Afghanistan and people were ready for peace. And I think we're now in a similar situation where the federal government is hostile to the, the progressive, uh, peaceful, uh, sanctuary impulses of uh, local uh, of the of the people, and that cities again are a place where we need to organize and where we can get our messages of peace and inclusivity, protection and progressivity ac uh, across and implemented, and and that that's our hope uh, in this coming administration. Thank you.